Good morning, John. I really like backstages. So yesterday, which is today, actually, we played, uh, or are about to play, depending on how you look at it, at the McGlohan Theater, possibly? It's in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's a beautiful theater. It has a dome, it has, like, red carpet everywhere. There's stained glass windows. But upon arriving at a venue, the thing I want to see first is the backstage. I want to see how weird and different it is, and I want to try to understand how it works a little bit. Even though like when you actually get to a backstage, you realize that the glamour isn't isn't really there. Like, you know, you think about backstage as like a place where only a few people get to go. There's backstage passes and that has a very specific connotation. But like, it's usually dingy and gross and like there's, you know, like utility sinks. But every venue is kind of the same from the front. Like, of course, it's very different going from like a beautiful room like this to like a middle school auditorium. But it's just a stage with a bunch of chairs when it comes down to it. But the layout of the backstage is always completely different. Like at the McGlohan, we walked down like three flights of stairs before we got like to the green room and like backstage at VidCon, I mean it looks and smells like a high school cafeteria. There's sort of two reactions you can have to a backstage. You can get back there and be like, oh, this is, you know, the glamour is gone. I now understand that this is just a room. And indeed, kind of a less good room than the, all the front-facing parts of a venue. But then there's the other way to look at it, which is that kind of all of the things that make the world actually work tend to be hidden from us. They're above the drop ceiling, they're behind the scenes, under the hood. All of the pipes and wires and servers and ducts, we have this instinct to hide them so that we can like create a nice, shiny, glossy, beautiful thing that may, it's like all of the things that we actually, there's a lot that goes into are hidden so that we can make it look like magic. Being able to see and start to understand the magic, I think that's a big reason why I love backstages, because they don't have drop ceilings. They're like, hey, just, we, we're not gonna pay to make this look fancy. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Like, if you watch my old tour vlog from last year, oh man, I got myself into some places. I tried to get myself into some places here, and I failed, unfortunately. Where's room 204? Oh no, Hank's gotta go in there. It's locked. No. Nothing. Just the secret room is locked. Oh, look at the weird dirt. Oh, that would've been cool. The other dressing room also has a secret door with a less creepy way to get to it. But is it also locked? Probably. Probably. Oh, I love little doors. Oh. Any door that is not the size of a full height man is like the thing, like I don't know what it is. It gets me very intrigued. I think sometimes we're too good at hiding the hard work that goes into making things function. But like, I love beautiful design, I love beautiful things, but I also want that magic to be stripped away a little bit so that we can appreciate the beauty of the function. Like a car engine is as beautiful as a car, and a CPU is as beautiful as a phone, and a backstage is as beautiful as a stage. John, I'll see you uh, when I see you. John, it's been really fun to hang out. Uh, the tour bus is amazing, though I have identified a problem with it. I don't know how this has happened, but they are, they're, they're just everywhere.